everyone, Lyndon Poskett from Races to Places and here I am in Nairobi, Kenya on this beautiful sunny day. Uh, unfortunately I'm here with a broken hand after an incident in Tanzania, um, but that's given me time to do some work on some videos that I've been meaning to do for quite some time. After a survey that I conducted on Patreon.com, uh, the hosting channel that I used to host my pre -release, the pre-release of my Races to Places videos on, uh, the number one response to, the, to that survey was we'd like to see what you carry on Races to Places on Basel Bike. So here I am to talk you through that. This is Basel Bike. It's a KTM 732cc factory rally replica motorcycle and there's another video that's going to tell you all about the bike but we're here to tell you about what I carry on Races to Places. Some people say wow it looks like you've got a lot of luggage, you're going to see why. Some people say, oh, you travel quite light. It's each to their own. And after five years on the road, I've pretty much adopted a system that works for me and I like what I've got. I feel confident with the parts that I've got with me and the equipment I've got with me. So let's go through the bike. Um, let's start from the front of the bike. Now, just behind the fairing here on the front of the bike, I have, um, I have an Enduri Stand tool roll pack. And that's where I keep all my tools for the bike. So if I have to stop to repair something, I just pop the fairing off, get, take my tools out, and I've got everything I need to do any service or maintenance or repairs on the bike. And that's just in here on the nav tower. I like it because it's easy access, uh, it's easy to get to, it's hidden away uh, so people can't see it. Um, and that's where I keep my tools. So let's talk about the tool roll that I use on Races to Places. This is the Enduristan tool roll pack. Uh, it's really heavy duty, very wear resistant. I have it stashed on the bike uh, and it's moving around a lot and it never wears to. Uh, super versatile tool pack. Let's open it up. I'm not going to talk too much about the tools that I have in it, but all the tools I have in here, I have every tool to do any job on the bike and that's the most important thing for me. Uh, everything from spanners, sockets, T-handles, uh, wheel wrenches, tire levers, allen keys, side cutters, you name it, everything I've ever needed, if I've not had it, I've put it in here. Now I'm not going to go into too much detail, everything that's in here uh, is going to be available soon in a Linden Poskett Racing Toolkit. Um, still working on that. It's got a nice magnetic uh, pad on the end so you can put your nuts, bolts and fasteners on there while you're working on the bike. Uh, and this is the one that I use on Races to Places. So this is the toolkit that I carry with me and has really been helpful everywhere I've been in the world. And if you've been watching Races to Places, you will know that it's come into play a lot of times. So if I just open this uh, right hand side, uh, fender pack here to show you uh, show you what we have inside it. Headlight bulb, some spare fork savers, spare fork savers for the forks, very important. If you look at the Basil bike video you'll see why that's important. Ah, uh, here we've got a water filtration system, it's something that I don't use very often but it's really handy to have. It's a water filter system for filtering dirty water so make it into drinking water. And in the very bottom, oil filters. Oil filters uh, for the bike so that if, uh, usually you can get oil anywhere in the world uh, but it's uh, not always easy to get specific oil filters for your bike, so always important to carry those. So I carry a spare set of oil filters in there too. So let's just take a look at what we've got in this uh, right side bag here. So if we just pull what we've got in here out. So what we've got here is electrical components. So we've got wire, connectors, spare levers, and also a multimeter, electronic multimeter, mini multimeter, really important for if you have an electrical problem to be able to diagnose it. Spare set of radiator hoses, 
Uh, we use Samco silicon hoses on the bike. Those are available from lindenposkitracing.com for the rally bikes and tapes. So some tape to tape up the radiator hoses or any kind of leak or anything like a self amalgamating tape, repair tape, insulation tape and of course duct tape. So enjoy some fender bag for the navigation tower bags here. Moving back to something that everybody's interested in uh, is always like what do you carry in your tank bag? Well for me uh, the tank bag is a really important piece of equipment on races to places and this is how I actually became involved with Enduristan and using the Enduristan product. After three years on the road I still didn't manage to find a truly waterproof tank bag solution. And when you're carrying camera equipment, this is what I carry in my tank bag, all my camera and recording and sound equipment. When you're carrying expensive equipment on the bike, you want it somewhere where you know where it is, it's between my legs, and you want it to be waterproof. And in the hunt for a waterproof tank bag, I found the Enduristan product. And I actually saw another traveller travelling with one, and that's why I decided to go for it. I use an Enduristan 4H tank bag. Uh, just because it's the right size to fit all my equipment in and I'll go through a little bit more detail about the tank bag but it clips on here down on the frame and at the front here and just sits between my legs and it's mounted on these elastic and jury stand rock straps um, so it's got some flexibility uh, so that's what I have there in my tank bag all my camera and recording equipment for races to places it's right there easy to access when I want it I just open it This is my Enduristan Sandstorm 4H tank bag in the sand here in Kenya. Um, just talk a little bit about the tank bag. It's fully waterproof. Um, it's got these little Velcro pockets on the side here for various bits and pieces. You can just slot them in there. It's got one on this side, you can slot stuff in there. Um, on the front, it's got a little uh, power access port so you can put power into your tank bag from your bike uh, and the way that it's designed such that water won't get in when you're traveling. Uh, underneath there is a small secret pocket here. You can put documents in or anything like that. Just goes underneath the bottom of the bag there. And that's pretty much it from the outside of the bag. I've shown you the attachment mechanism on the bike. But what everyone's asking me, um, what do you put inside your tank bag on races to places? Well, I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna show you what I have. So, if I open it up, or just before I open it up, I'm just gonna tell you about this on the top. You can see it's got some Velcro on the top of the bag here. Um, the bag comes with a map pocket for the top. I actually don't use the map pocket. I don't use a map, I only use my GPS. So the map pocket, uh, Velcro on the top, for me, doubles up as something else, which I'm going to show you in a minute. But this has all my equipment in for filming and sound recording and everything. So if I pop it open, um, I remove all the internals from the bag because I want to maximize the storage space and the way that I store stuff in the bag. And I like to do it in these modular systems so I can take it out. So here's my main filming camera, uh, which is uh, G3X. So that just uh, goes in the back there. And this is my external road mic for the G3X, also just fits in the back there. Next is this bad boy. Um, many of you will know what this is. This is Mavic Air drone. So we'll just uh, pop this open just to, for the purposes of the camera and pop it on there. Um, so I've got a Mavic there. This bag here slots in the front. Um, this is just a simple little storage case and uh, it is a GoPro case. So 
I'm using a GoPro now to film this, so an extra one would be in there. I've got my Hero 4, I've got a little tripod, lots of little adapters and brackets. And then in the lid of this bad boy, it's full of batteries. Um, spare batteries for GoPros and cameras and stuff like that. Now these little storage cases I just found myself and just uh, found them on Amazon and figured out what fitted where um, and that's how I uh, decide what I uh, have in the tank bag. Then in the very bottom of the tank bag which sits right at the base of the tank bag um, is, uh, is this one. Now this one is uh, for the drone so if we open it up I can show you uh, that it's basically got the three spare drone batteries um, it's got the intervalometer for my main camera which is what allows me to uh, take still shots when I'm on my own and decent selfies that you've all seen and uh, this is the controller for the Mavic so uh, that's what we have in there and in the lid of this um, in the lid we have a Rode wired mic uh, some feet for the uh, Mavic Air just in case I need to land in some dodgy areas, uh, spare blades for the Mavic Air and also um, uh, the um, different lens caps and stuff for the Mavic so uh, that's the pretty pretty heavy as well like this whole tank bag setup weighs quite a bit when when it's all said and done uh, because I carry quite a bit of stuff but um, the go-to tool um, Leatherman Wave uh, I like to keep that in there because it's just the easiest place to access on the bike. Um, and then I have my power adapters for the bike. So I have a standard SAE connector on the bike. I can feed that through the front of the tank bag. And then I have a cigarette lighter or I have an SAE charger. I can plug this little USB fellow in here and I can charge things also inside my tank bag. Um, a few little... Uh, lens cleaning wipes for the camera uh, there's a little pocket in the front here you can just see in there uh, which is where these should be but i obviously got lazy when i put this to put this these in and here i've got a lighter and some more lens cleaning equipment so we just keep that in there and there's some little elastic pocket elastic uh, holsters for pens or whatever you want to put in there parts gopro parts everything but i like to keep it really simple um, and have everything in a modular fashion uh, and that's what I keep in my tank bag. Uh, if I go anywhere uh, I can just unclip the tank bag and carry it in with me so I don't risk losing it and so that's the races to places tank bag. I said that I had um, something else to tell you uh, which I used the uh, velcro for on the top of the bag and you may have noticed that on the back of the controller here for the Mavic uh, if we open the controller up, uh, it would have my phone in there uh, and then what I have is I have some velcro on the back, I can stick it on there and I can ride with the controller on the bag so I don't have to go back to the home point to collect the uh, drone, I can actually fly to wherever I'm riding. So that makes a nice little addition there, that's what I use the velcro for on top of my Enjoy stuff. Moving a little bit further back, uh, let's look at the top bag. So on the top here, at the back, we've got an Enduri Stand Tornado 2L duffel bag. And in here is my uh, personal possessions, typically clothes. So it's got my clothes in, my shoes in, and some other bits and pieces. I hold it onto the bike with these Enduri Stand rock straps. Uh, they're very elasticated and it means that if the stuff shuffles around inside your bag it still stays fast and tight on your bike so I really like these straps. Uh, just a clip here, clip here and the bag is off. So let's take a quick look at what's inside my uh, top bag here that I use. A Tornado 2L, just pop it open predominantly clothing really um, so personal stuff this is the bag that I remove when I go into a hotel so I've got my wash bag OGO, OGO wash bag and and I also have a pair of flip-flops or thongs as they call them 
Now these two bags are really important. This is like charging equipment for my uh, cameras, laptop and everything else um, because when I go into a hostel or anywhere I want to take the stuff into my room I want that with me so I have that in my top bag too. I'll go into a little bit more detail about that in a minute. Um, spares for my camera, spares for GoPros and cameras and bits and pieces, just carry those in there and then we've got whoa, dirty washing bag <laughs> Got a small bag for underwear, uh, pants, underpants, socks, etc. Um, we use these little modular packing systems for my clothes. This is all my clothes other than the ones that I've got on, shorts, t-shirts and the trainers that I've got on. Uh, training shoes I've got on, this is it. One pair of jeans, four t-shirts, um, a merino wool uh, long sleeve top and a pair of running shorts for doing my exercise and that's it everything's in there for my clothes and in the bottom here i have a injury stand shoulder strap for this uh, for this tornado bag for when i am traveling either by by a by plane or airplane or a different method and I want to carry it, I can put this shoulder strap on and the final thing that we have in here is my adventure spec jacket which is like a thermal jacket with a hood uh, just for the odd times that it gets cold and that's it that's what I have in my top bag so moving on to the luggage lots of people ask me about the main pannier system that I use on races to places now currently this is not available uh, to the market it's a prototype system uh, it's a monsoon Evo prototype by Enduristan and I've been working with Enduristan for the last six months on the design of this bag, the openings, attachments, functionality, um, front and rear bags that we have on it uh, and also the attachment system. It's designed to go on a luggage rack so uh, we're still working on that. It will be released shortly. Uh, we don't have a release date for it yet but I'm going to talk about it anyway and what I have in it. Um, so in the right hand side bag here this is all my camping equipment. This is where I keep all my camping equipment for races to places and also my waterproof gear. Uh, but I'll show you everything in that bag. First thing that comes out that's on top is my um, Adventure Spec uh, rain jacket. Uh, I like to keep it on top because that's the first thing I go to when it's raining. And then uh, I've got my cooking gear. So just quickly empty a little bit of this out and show you what it is. Uh, I've just got a pan, uh, a mug, thermal mug, and as I saw a fine pan, thermal mug, uh, and a uh, normal regular pan. Uh, there we've got a fork and spoon, which is titanium. Uh, so put that in there. Uh, and then in this pan here, we've got a cooker. So, wrapped in here, it gets hammered so it's uh, really well used. Uh, this is my MSI stove that I use and here's the other end to it that goes in there which attaches the bottle which I'm going to show you where I stash that soon. So that's my cooking equipment, uh, food preparation for races to places. Uh, next up is the sleeping bag. It's a North Face Gold Kazoo 3 Season 650 fill down sleeping bag. Uh, that's what I choose to have with me on races to places. And for my bed, I have a Thermarest Neo Air and an electric pump. Battery powered, lasts for ages, uh, helps to pump that up. And then next up is the tent. A lot of people ask me about the tent. Uh, the tent is a Big Agnes Copper Spur 2. The thing I like about this tent is that the poles are short so it fits inside the luggage bag very easily. Um, tent peg and poles for that and the repair kit for the tent and also for uh, the luxury light, uh, sorry the um, Neo Air airbed just in case that goes flat. Um, got a seat cover for basil bike just in case I park the bike in the rain. We've got some food. Uh, we've got some food, so just a tin of tuna and some spaghetti. 
and uh, a mosquito net for when I'm putting my uh, tent up. If it's got mosquitoes, I can wear that. A pair of spare gloves, just in case. Some dried food, so I've got some just camping food. Dried food, just add water, very useful to have. So that's uh, in my right hand side bag with my camping stuff. And the last thing is what I don't use very often, but I like to have them just in case it's raining heavy, a pair of climb over pants, uh, waterproof over pants uh, for when I'm on the, uh, in the rain. If I'm sitting in torrential rain, I've got my over pants and my adventure spec rain jacket and I'm good to go. That's everything I have in my right hand side pannier. In the front bag here, I have toe straps, uh, various little adapters, clips, replacement clips for the bags if I break something or crash and something breaks. I've got some replacement items in here. Uh, I've got some wire locks that I use to lock my luggage on. And on the back side of the bag, uh, I've got two Enduri Stand bottle holders, holsters. Uh, one is for my fuel for my camping stove and the other one I use for rubbish. Now symmetrically there's a bag exactly the same as this on this side um, and this side it, on the left hand side of my bike I have all my spare parts so this is what carries all my spare parts for races to places and I think you're going to be surprised at the stuff that I've got in here but this whole bag is reserved for spare parts, maintenance, uh, fixing things on the road stuff for repairing the bike um, and some other bits and pieces so uh, first of all I have uh, this is my first aid kit uh, that's important I have uh, spare tubes tube for the front tube for the rear this is an Enduristan um, Linden organizer uh, and that's what I use to uh, put my puncture repair stuff in. I'll show you that. I have some air filters, some cable ties and a waterproof cover for the air filter, some more zip ties, cable ties, another front pump in a tube and a small packet of spare parts which I just got recently which is steering head bearings and a couple of other bits that I need to do on the bike and then in here I have a regulator rectifier battery cable and the freewheel which is the starting mechanism for the bike uh, really important to have those as spare parts otherwise because it doesn't have a kickstarter I can't start the bike without the freewheel so a uh, locking device for the starter motor then we have this big box here and uh, in this box let's move these to one side in this like organizer here I have spare clutch plates I have in here fuel pump uh, what else do I have oh, I can go on for a long time but fuel pump uh, master cylinder gear shift lever fuel hose uh, various other little bits and pieces in there I have a spare rear light in case it breaks because it's real dangerous not to have a brake light or a light on the bike so I carry a spare one um, I carry, I've got here a tool for the front forks and another tool for the front forks there and this one is the intake boot for the carb if that splits I've got a spare one then in here in this little box here I have a stator fork seals, dust seals, fork bushings, everything to repair the forks are in there. So a full fork rebuild kit and the tools to rebuild the forks, everything's in there. And I'll just close that, I'll just turn that a different way, move that over. And then the last box is the crown jewel of races to places. Um, this box is has everything in it um, and I can't show you everything because it's double sided but what I can do is just open it up and show you that we've got literally like electrical connectors, fuel connectors, um, wheel bearings, 
gaskets, brake pads, fuel filters, greases, seals, uh, spare balls for the ram mounts, for the mirrors, seals, uh, rear brake light switch, yeah, all kinds of stuff in there. We've got valve shims and a set of calipers and um, feeler gauges to check the valves on the bike. And if we flip it over to the other side, we have more stuff still. Water pump impeller, seals, uh, spare thermostat, um, spare control for the fan, fan thermostat, so the on switch for the fan, radiator cap, oil filler cap, greases, all the brake repair parts for the brake calipers, um, camshaft uh, retaining clip for the auto decompressor, rear brake master cylinder, spark plug cap, spark plug, Loctite, strong, medium and soft, all kinds of washers, bolts, fittings, clips, fasteners, JB weld, <laughs> clips for radiator hoses, I mean it's just a full coil, a pickup coil for the ignition, uh, small electrical components, bulbs, o-rings, you name it, this has it. So that's what, uh, that's my, my, my kind of go-to box, uh, but that's it. On the back of my left side pannier, I have these two bottle holsters, but they're uh, more like can holders and they've got this um, drawstring top on them, which is really handy. Um, in this right hand side one here, I put my chain loop. It's uh, my Motorex chain loops in there, easy access, can just get it out when I stop anywhere, give the chain a quick lube and uh, pop it away. So that's what I keep in the, the left hand side, the right hand side one there. Then in the left hand side one, um, I have some stuff for camping, so I have some uh, hmm, pepper spray, just in case uh, any animals or people come into my tent. Uh, I have a air horn klaxon, um, for if I need to make myself aware to people or have a problem, or also if I want to scare animals away, like uh, lions maybe. Um, I have a bigger can of self-defense spray, um, uh, which I've carried since like I was camping with the bears in Alaska. <laughs> um, I have a tin of mini tin of WD-40, and also a tin of my favourite grease, dielectric grease, which I use for everything really. Um, but it's nice to have the electrical grease with me as well, and you all know from when I rebuilt the bike why that's so important. These little bags on the front of my panniers um, are to store, on the right hand side I store various items like uh, the chain locks, the rope locks for my bags, and on the left hand side I simply just put a litre of oil to top Basil bike up with. A litre of Motorex 1060s just fits nicely in here with a rag and I can occasionally stop and easily get it out to check and top my oil up. It's good not to store lubricants and oils in the main bag, just in case they leak, go over all your stuff. So I like to keep them on the outside in these little bags here. Other than that, the only other storage places on the bike is two compartments down at the bottom in my Linden Poskett Racing aluminium bash plate uh, for this bike. There's two 1.2 litre storage compartments in the bottom. On the right hand side of the bike uh, I have uh, some heavy items really that I ve rarely use. So I have the chain tool if I need to split or put a chain back together. Um, I have a pair of lightweight, well not lightweight, but small compact jump leads. In case I ever have a flat battery I need to get a jump off a car or someone local. I've got my jump leads in there and a couple of other little bits and pieces. And in the left hand side I carry a spare front tube. Literally, it's just a sp it's just a place out of the way um, for that extra front tube, just in case you ever need it. You can always use the front tube in the back at a very push. Um, and that's it. That's all the storage places on the bike. So let's just have a talk about the final piece of luggage on races to places: Lyndon's backpack. Well, this is an Enduristan Hurricane 25 litre backpack. Why do I use a 25 litre backpack, you're probably thinking. Well, the main reason is, although I hardly ever fill it, 
I like to have the extra capacity for when I want to go hiking, I want to put some warm clothes in it and go hiking and just in case it gets cold. If I want to go somewhere and leave the bike, I can put my camera equipment in it. So it's nice to have that extra capacity. It's got these little sin straps on the side that if you're not using the full 25 liters, you can pull it tight so it's not like a huge volume on your back. But then if you want to increase it, you just open them all up. Um, some of the key features about this backpack, it's fully sealed, it's fully welded, construction, waterproof, waterproof zips, everything. It is a waterproof backpack uh, and that's why I really like it. Um, it's got, on the sides, it's got two bottle holsters so you can put bottles of drink or anything you buy on the road in the side. Um, I like to use one side, you've probably seen it on my travels, I like to use one side to put my tripod in, hook it behind this strap here. Uh, a couple of things uh, to note, underneath there's this cool little um, waterproof compartment here, which hardly anybody would even know is there. Um, and that's nice to put, I put my um, satellite phone and a few other little bits in there that I hardly ever use. Um, but I just want to keep with me all the time. The main purpose of the backpack for me is to carry my laptop. I keep the laptop in here and all my important documents on Races to Places, my carnet, my passports, um, all the documents for the bike and import paperwork and everything always stays with me all the time. On the back side at the top, it's also got an under the water little, uh, little compartment where I put things like sun cream, sunglasses, uh, earplugs, daily things, my iPod and things that I listen to, um, things that I need on the road every day, often I keep in this little pocket up here on the top. Uh, a couple of things to note about the outside. Um, the water bladder, although it sits on the outside of the main bag, it actually sits between your back and the main bag. The reason for this is, if your bladder was to leak and your bladder is inside your bag, which has happened to me with previous occasions and previous backpacks, then all of a sudden your contents of your backpack soaking wet through. It's actually a nice feature to keep it on the outside of the main bag. Uh, and then the little outlet, drinks outlet is here on the on the shoulder strap. Uh, very easy to access to fill up, you just pull a little ve velcro strap and you're into it there. So let's have a look inside and a little bit of a closer look around it. So let's just take a, a closer look. Here's the backpack and I've already said it's got a, a waterproof pocket in the bottom there. It's got a nice little compartment in the top here. The water is held between the main bag and the back and your back, so it's outside of the main compartment, which is excellent. Um, to access the bladder, you just lift the flap there. There's a little locking mechanism on the top of the bladder, and you've got access to the bladder. Push it back in, uh, clip it back on there, and put that back over the top. So that's it. That's the bladder, uh, but we've not talked about the inside and also I just wanted to mention, uh, I'll just shut these little um, drinks compartments because I don't use those at the moment. So they just velcro back down and they've got a little clip on them, which also doubles up as the compression straps for the bag. On the back here as well, there is a velcro compartment, very strong, um, which you can put stuff inside. I've got a little repair kit in there for my luggage. Um, and also they've got this very handy elasticated um, strap on the back with a pull cord um, and that's handy for if you want to just stick like a, a jumper or a waterproof jacket or anything in there when you go uh, off hiking or something like that or even if you pick something up on the side of the road and you want to just stuff it in there while you get to the next stop it's really handy um, but if we look inside the bag um, it's got a very very strong um, waterproof zip on it I've been using these backpacks for quite over a year now uh, and I've yet to break one of those zips so that's good news. You do have to keep it lubricated though. Uh, if we look on the inside, on the inside of the flap, very hard to see from there, but uh, on the inside of the flap they've got this pocket, zip pocket, um, then they've got all sorts of pen holders, elastic straps and everything on the inside. The main purpose for me of this backpack is to carry my laptop. Everyone always says like, what laptop do you carry on races to places? Well, I carry a MacBook Pro, um, 13 inch MacBook Pro, uh, and that's what I use to 
sort all my videos out and photos and everything like that. I also carry all my documents in that uh, laptop wallet. As I've said, passport and stuff like that. Uh, then inside, at the, at the back of the bag, there is another zip pocket and there is another sleeve pocket to put like an iPad or a small laptop or something behind that. So a very, very versatile backpack. Uh, I'm really enjoying using it. Uh, I like the fact that it's waterproof and I don't have to worry about having my expensive laptop in there. Uh, so that's the bag that I choose on Races to Places. So, I hope that gives you an idea uh, of, on more details of all the stuff that I carry with me on Races to Places and where I store it and how I store it. Um, everybody has different ideas, you know, everybody's idea of a good setup is different. If I was travelling on shorter journeys, I wouldn't carry as many spare parts or clothes or maybe not as much camping stuff as I, as I have with me now, and, or I'd go lighter. Uh, but for me, I've been travelling 220,000 kilometres now around the world and this is the setup that works for me. I travel in remote places, I like to be prepared for all weathers and for all eventualities and breakdowns and issues like that. Uh, and this is just what works for me. But hopefully it gives you a bit of an insight and gives you some thoughts about what, how you might like to prepare for your journey. The most important thing is to be happy with your setup that you're taking on your trip and be as prepared as you possibly can be for the eventualities that take place. So that's it. Uh, finally, if you'd like one of these t-shirts, Races to Places t-shirts, you can check it out on lindenposkitracing.com. Likewise, all my luggage systems uh, that I use on the bike are available, or details of them are available on lindenposkitracing.com. And, and that's it from me. I hope that's helped, and we'll come back with more videos like this. Hopefully not with a broken hand uh, that's triggering me doing them, but uh, yeah, hope that helps.